how's today going? Good, productive. Cleaning the boat. Hopefully the lift will be ready soon. And we'll be going in the water. We're gonna be ready to cruise straight down to the Bahamas almost, right, right when we launch, so that's good. Get back to cleaning. Okay. Well, we got another hose at a ridiculous price at a hydraulic shop. $80 for a very short section of hose and two fittings. But we didn't know until after we asked them to make it. So note to self, always ask how much something is even if they're super friendly and helpful at the shop. Because sometimes things are way more than you expect them to be and way more than they should be. But as long as this works, I'll be happy. So let's try to get it hooked up. If it leaks still, I'm not gonna be super stoked. So I was able to get the hoses all tight and finally not leaking. You really have to crank them down. And Alex has cleaned up our stove. Woohoo! Putting it back together. I'm pretty excited to test it out and see how it's gonna go. We actually ended up buying a bit of provisions this morning. Started getting a few things at all these. So I'm just noting what we have because we might start doing a bit more provisions at Walmart tonight. So Coral is helping mommy put away the stuff. Or eating it. So all of this toilet paper, paper towel is going in the old anchor locker. Alex got it all cleaned up. Man, it looks like new almost. <laughs> Except for some of the metal has kind of been pitting, but I'm sure we could just replace these oh. at some point. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I hear something. Yeah, that one is... Uh... Uh, yeah, so maybe I didn't put those little uh, needles right. Yeah, because there shouldn't be fuel coming no. out. They should be in the closed position right now. We couldn't get the valves to turn off, so I think it's just not making a, a very good seal. The needle's not making a great seal at the bottom, so we're trying a bit of Vaseline down in the hole where the needle sits, and we'll see if that helps. I also think maybe where you put the needle in, in this position, this position needs to be right for when you start to put the needle in. So I think that's right. No, it's jammed. <sighs> Stocking up on this Earth Balance Creamy. Actually, they make a chunky too, but we almost never find it. But it's got coconut in it, it's so delicious. Unfortunately, it only comes in these small containers. Do you there. really think we need that much? Yes. We eat lots of peanut butter. We'll do four, so what? We'll have like, I don't know, a good. We have like 20 things of peanut butter in total. Finding what you need? Yeah, good thing I made my little list so it makes life way easier. Poor coral, she's pooped. <laughs> I guess what's your guess how much? <laughs> um, I don't know. Hard to say. That's a trophy receipt. What's um, our total? 486. Nice. Coral's helping mommy. Is she now? We're teaching her how to do stuff on the boat. Fill all my cans, labeling all of them on the top because I am removing all the wrapping around it so that bugs don't get into it or they don't get soaked, humid, and then disintegrate. The main reason is bugs, because bugs 
Uh, I guess in the stores and stuff, sometimes you end up with eggs in between here, and then you end up with an infestation. We're trying to prevent that. Hopefully we won't have the rice weevil tonight. <laughs> Provisioning and putting everything we have and what we need. It's a, it's a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> How much did we spend? Like three grand in the last few days in food? No, not that much. Seven, was four, seven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, it felt like so much more. <laughs> About 1300, including a little bit of vinyasas. How's Coral? Doesn't want a nap today, but she's been really awesome. Helping me peel the cans wrappers. Alex is still working on the stove. Yeah, giving it another chance, you never know. We're just, it seems like we're getting somewhere and then we take like maybe one step forward and two steps back. This does not want to screw back in. Because I've been playing with like dropping the little needle at different moments in it of like closing it all the way and then opening it a little bit then dropping the needle and it seems like it wasn't leaking alcohol anymore but now this doesn't want to go back in though <laughs> So this is me somehow managing to film with one hand having no control over the camera because I have to hold coral <laughs> while Alex works because she won't stay calm so, so please, please forgive any shaky camera action. Oh my gosh, Coral! <laughs> She's just leaning forward and almost falling out of my arms. Like a goofball. Alright, um, you have me at 10 PSI there. I can hear uh, air leaking from over there. But here... Oh no, still uh, still got a leak there. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't know really what to do about that. We have. We tried putting PTFE Teflon tape there. We're getting somewhere. Yesterday we were really shopping and looking around for propane stoves. Even went to see some of the stores, but it seems like now this left burner is the only one that has a little bit of a slight leak around here. The main problem was all our valves were leaking, or all the, the needles were leaking, so there was no way to turn off the valve. But a small leak is definitely uh, there is definitely manageable, and we might even be able to seal it up with um, more Teflon tape. Maybe we don't have quite enough on there. Uh, I can't really tighten it because this nut is secure; it doesn't spin. Um, it has a little bit of movement from one side to another, but I think it's directly connected to a copper pipe in underneath this plate. And so you can only spin this top piece, and of course it needs to line up with this bar. So, you know, I might be able to spin, actually it looks like I might be able to spin it just a tiny bit more to the left, but that's all the play I got. And so I was talking to the guy at the hydraulic shop, and he said, you gotta make sure to tighten it good. And you'll know when not to tighten it, because it'll tell you. I was afraid of stripping it, so I think it's user error. We'll find out when I actually get it tight here. Well, now I feel a little stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't bought a new stove yet though. So I have to crank on that really, really hard comparing to what I thought I needed to crank on it. It was brass, so I didn't think it could deal with that much force, but it seems it can. My bad, I'm gonna have to call that guy back and apologize for telling him his hose was no good. <laughs> we decided to take it out, this, this connection, even though there's a nice convenient porthole here, it's just too much of a pain, and I need to get it way tighter than I thought, as we showed you up above. So this will allow us both to clean back here, because it's disgusting, and to get this connector connection on here real tight. <laughs> well, we are expected for supper, so we might have to deal with that tomorrow. Alex is in cleaning mode. Yeah, I have the stove oven out of here, so I might as well clean. It is filthy. Filthy, filthy. Like the rest of our boat, a complete disaster. Hi, gorgeous. How was your nap? 
Okay, quick, quick, quick. Get this done. Get this done. Alex keeps running back and forth between Coral over there and doing different things around the boat. Oh yeah, Coral's been amazing, but the certain days that she just requires a little more attention. Okay, let's get this back in, I guess. All right, the chafe hose is on. We got the connector and some Teflon tape. Now I gotta crank this down like crazy, just like I did this one to stop the leak. <clears throat> so moment of truth. Korea is putting pressure before we put the stove back in because that connection is really hard to access. The final test at 15 pounds because that's pretty much as high as we ever take it. And we'll do the bubble test. This is just air. Very little alcohol left in the bottom because we kind of drained it while trying to do all these different tests. But I think we're getting somewhere. I added the hose clamps just as a precaution that it might be leaking between the hose clamp, or sorry, between the, the hose and the connection. But I have a feeling you just really got to crank down on these way more than you might think. And because now we're getting no bubbles. Beautiful. And it actually makes me think that the old hose we had was still fine. It was just the fact that I wasn't comfortable. I didn't think I was supposed to tighten it down so much and I thought it was making a good seal, but it wasn't. But as Alex pointed out, it was probably a good idea to replace it because it was one of those things that we're unsure of when it was going to fail. This was the best invention for putting alcohol in the stove. We used to use a funnel. We always made a mess of it, but now it's much cleaner. 15 pounds. No alcohol spilling everywhere like it was before. This back connector, I can't show you. Anyway, it's not leaking. There's no alcohol in either of these. <laughs> Nothing in there either. Oh man. This is exciting. Let's see if it works. Wait, hold on. I'm just going to keep this above so it doesn't go squirting everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I won't open it anymore. Let's see this one. I mean, you, you can just leave it. You'll hear it. Yep. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> yeah, my stove in that would... Aren't you glad we didn't uh, sell it for like nothing? Yeah, I know. Well, yesterday when I came back in the boat, I was like, okay, I need to go at this one more time because I need to sleep over things versus Quaid that needs to pound his head at things. And we got it working. Oh, ah, this is exciting. This is an exciting moment in Alex's life. Because I love cooking. If you follow our channel, you do know how much I love cooking. So this piece of the equipment is so important. And we were going to buy a only two burner thing, just to make it work for the season. But I would have been missing out on my oven. I don't use it that often, but I still cook with it a little bit. So if you're wondering why it's all flaring up there and you're not familiar with alcohol stoves, You've got to turn on the burner for a little bit, let that bottom bowl fill, or not, not fill completely, entirely. but put a little <laughs> bit of fuel in the bottom bowl, light it, let that bottom bowl, uh, sorry, you turn it off after the bowl is uh, filled up a little bit, light it, let it heat up the element, and then at this point, once the flame's gone out, you should be able to turn it back on, and it should turn into... If it's it, not quite warm enough though yeah. right now, I think. So if it's warmed up enough, You'll and there's fumes because we had a lot of product cleaning this. Yeah, there, there might be some um, some WD-40 and stuff left in there. But essentially, you once it's heated up enough, you should get a nice blue flame. Another adjustment with those is little holes inside, four holes that decides how much like air or not you let through. So you can spin this and see how it's not working and get it to the right setting. Poor Coral, she's so sleepy. But today is a cold and rainy day, so my sister took us to Costco and the shopping provisioning continues. They've got awesome cheese here. I had one of those. Should I get two? Sure. Because we ended up buying butter, right? And we have room in there. We have room for it, so. Oh, it's a little 
sad because it's a mess in the boat. It's actually it's coming together. I did manage to make the bed and stash all the food and alcohol. Now we only need to get the fresh stuff and we might actually be launching tomorrow. Super excited. Otherwise it probably won't be until next week because they've been waiting for a part for the lift to fix it and that was because the lift's been broken for like a week or a little over a week now so we've been tinkering away at lots of different little projects provisioning and doing all the things we would normally do on the water but now on the hard so hopefully everything gets rolling soon because we really want to be in the water right coral she says yes. And it's nap time. Here's the bin to protect the through holes. What are we doing? I call this the, bo the boat shuffle. Anytime we need to accomplish a task, we move stuff from one area to another area. Yep. And make a complete yep. mess of the boat. Actually, it's getting a lot better, I have to say. Because Alex is getting some cleaning done. Alex is doing a great job. And so is Coral, but she really doesn't like hanging out alone sometimes. She's been awesome, but really loves attention, doesn't she? Push the right side, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pushing. It's the right side, it's just jammed. There we go. And she's coming out! Space for the new one! Woo! We are one-handing, putting all the provisions into the boat. There's stuff everywhere. Oh. So, Cory brings them right behind me over there. And then I try to put them in the boat with Coral. And we have Cory putting the new line. Fancy new eyelids. Not quite a professionally done job, but not too bad for somebody's first try. Our 53 quart freezer is gonna go in the F quarter berth. And we are making sure to secure it, so there's gonna be a strap going here and one on the other end. So Corey is doing that and making sure we also have space for the vents. Not moving. <laughs> 